What appealed to me about it was the fact that we're exploring a a character that a superhero who is from Africa. So that was the first thing that was, you know, immediately I knew that was going to be fresh and, and different. Uh, the people who are who are attached to this project. So Ryan Kugler, I wanted to work with him from the time I saw Fruitvale Station, um, Chadwick, uh, Lupita. So everybody who was always already attached at Michael B. Jordan, I wanted to work with them because I knew that they will bring something amazing to it and I wanted to be a part of that. Chadwick, he brings a lot of depth to his role. It's, it's very internal, you know, I've observed him, you know, throughout my time of filming with him and the very first time I met him, when we had our screen test in LA, I knew, I, I just knew that he was right for the part, like I just knew that he was the right person, you know, because everything for him is internal. It's not so much external, and it's, and it, and that's interesting for as an audience member to, to you know, to f look into his eyes and see what's going on. You know, you can see there's an inner dialogue going on, and I think that's refreshing, and that's um, something that I also treasure in acting. You know, so he brings a lot of strength, a lot of um, you know, integrity to the role. And yeah, he, I can tell he really, you know, enjoys playing this part. Shuri is the princess of Wakanda. She is uh, the Black Panther's li little sister. And she is someone who's very innovative. I love the way Ryan has written her in because at the beginning stages of, of the Black Panther comic books, she's not really heavily she's not really heavily there until she grows up a little bit and then, you know, she has to, you know, help her brother, you know, save Wakanda and take over and she 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 has to hold her she has to hold her own and hold it down. But this be, the beginning of our uh universal um cinematic approach to it is that Shuri takes care of the technology the technology side of uh, everything that's going on in Wakanda. So she designs all of the technology. She designs, you know, exciting, cool things that we're going to see in the film. Uh, she, her brain is always working, and she's always thinking of solutions to help her country. It's been a blast. She's amazing. She's funny, um, and she's given me so much advice. You know, she's taken time out when she sees things are going wrong for me on set, or I'm having a frustrating time, she'll pull me to the side and be like, hey, you've got this. You know, center yourself. From the very jump, Ryan let me know how he wanted me to play Shuri. You know, I came in with an approach to be very serious, very strong, um, but Ryan let me know that Shuri needed to be the, the love and the light of the film. And that's also something God told me when I was coming up for this role, you know, that everybody's gonna approach it very serious, very mm -hmm. strong, and that's, that's nothing's wrong with that. But we also need someone that's gonna be the light and the joy and the positivity of the film. And who better than to, to pass that on to Shuri. So from the very beginning, you know, that's the conversations we had. He was just like, he's like, hey Tish, like, be smile, you know, be happy, encourage your brother, encourage the people around you. Um, so I have had to always remember that. Yes, she's strong. Um, yes, she can be powerful, you know, just because of her age, you know, he's he's written my character in such a way that her age, people can easily underestimate her, but her, her intelligence and when she opens her mouth about technology, you're like, oh, whoa, okay, you're, you're, you're really smart and, um, and I've, and I've had to just embrace that. Hey, Vali here. So are you a big movie fan? Well, stay with me as I have some cool random facts for you. Due to a miscommunication on set in The Hateful Eight, Kurt Russell accidentally smashed an antique guitar from 1870 instead of a prop. The dog who played Toto in The Wizard of Oz received a higher salary than most of the people who played Munchkins. And lastly, Michael Caine was so terrified of Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight that he forgot his lines in the first scene they shot together.
Do you know any other cool facts? Let me know below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Bye-bye.